Hi folks, hope everybody's okay. <laughs> Going to uh, get my car sorted. Uh, need a caliper on it. So uh, we're going to do that. So. So, I just want to talk about um, current affairs and um, what I think about current affairs and then maybe talk about church life. Um, I don't think it's wise for us to have nuclear power by China. I think it's very dangerous. Um, they're trying to take over certain parts of the South Sea, and uh, they have designs to increase their like little empire. I think it's unwise to play with uh, China. Um, ISIS. I think ISIS. Um, the West have, have let the genie out of the bottle. I don't think ISIS are going to be defeated. I think if you study the art of war, if you study um, military tactics, um, you'll find that, um, like for example in the Vietnam War, um, the Viet Cong were able to, to uh, defeat uh, American um, military power by not actually taking them on uh, in a big or large military battles but in small pockets and um, it was only near the end of the war that um, the general, the Vietnam Con general was told by superiors to, to, take, to, to do a large scale battle and uh, it was not very successful but it was successful in terms of the media but the point what I'm trying to get at is this is that they most of the war they fought um, in small units and military strategy says that if you do that you know you can defeat a larger army and also if a war goes on for a long period within a country it's highly likely that the uh, nation who has the standing army will lose so I predict that the ground more and more will be taken by ISIS in Syria and Iraq. That um, the power will not be uh, dilapidated. The other thing as well is they have the oil and uh, they're able to finance some recruits and I think this is absolute military stupidity of the West to allow. I believe that ISIS power will grow and grow and I believe that they'll unstable democracies throughout the world, they'll unstable America and they'll unstable the UK. Um, so I, it doesn't look good as far as I'm concerned. I think that you need a leader, we need a leader that is strong and is willing to root out these people. But I think it's, it's uh, too little too late. I think the damage has been done.
and uh, Donald Trump. I hope Donald Trump gets in myself. I think he'll shake up things and uh, I don't think it'll be good sometimes. But I prefer him. I find him more likable than Hillary. Uh, that's my opinion. Um, there's a church. I think the evangelical church in the UK is in a bad way and in America. I think she's becoming more and more secularised. I think the church is asleep in the West. Some encouraging signs uh, that I've been seeing in Manchester with the Message Trust, they're doing a good job. Uh, Victory Outreach are doing a good job, and so there's some encouraging signs of, uh, of, of work of, that people have got are doing. But uh, I just feel the church is generally weak, and there are very few expository preachers around, and people just don't seem to want the Word of God in the church and uh, people are just making it up as they go along. Um, there's been some church planting being done by a, a church that I know that's quite encouraging. Uh, Vic, uh, not Victory Outreach, uh, Ivy Church, they're doing a good job. So, you know. But, um, Churches are, some churches are praying and you know things could change for the better but we're getting a lot of people from different countries coming to the UK who are Christian and, and that's bringing new life but I just think that the evangelical church is, is asleep <coughs> and is not really engaging properly with the culture or getting out, reaching out. We, we have had Alpha and Christianity Explored and things like that. You know, you might not agree with Alpha, but things are, are bad because secularism is just beginning to eat away at the church and secularism now is trying to take over the church. Nobody's really seeing it, but it is happening where trying to, they know they can't silence Christianity, that it is around, the Bible is the Word of God, so what they're trying to do now is, they're trying to take over the church, they're trying to take over the message, and the secularists are trying to do that. So they're going to call us, who believe the Bible is the Word of God and don't agree with their sexual beliefs, as the extremists, and promote a more moderate kind of church and say that's the church. So that's the next tack that they're doing and that's what they're aiming at now. So we're coming to the garage now. That's just a few thoughts by me. It's a beautiful day out there. God bless you and thank you for listening.